It's your first taste of really being on the outside, fair to say? It's been a long time. I'm profoundly grateful uh, to President Trump, and it's a profound and everlasting gratitude. It's, he didn't have to do this. He's a Republican president. I was a Democratic governor. And uh, I'll have a lot more to say tomorrow. Tell me this, though. Why do you think he was sweet on your case? Because he didn't make this decision overnight. He's been talking about it for over a year. I'll have a lot more to say tomorrow. Yeah. What do you have to say tonight? Maybe it's a banana nice to split. See you. It's nice to see you too nice to in see person. You. Nice uh, maybe a banana split in the future for you. Well, I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. All right. That sounds good. What feels different in eight years? Tell me that much. Well, you guys haven't changed. We've all aged eight years. <laughs> no, you look the same. You're I get to cover my grades. What's yeah. your plan? Go well, with it. Know. Keep it, Rob. Huh? No, M you're misfortune aging gracefully. Is, misfortune has silvered my hair. Has silvered your hair. But are you going to keep it? Oh, I, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. People we'll, are going to be asking. Kind of, we'll spend some time tomorrow. We'll, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Agreed. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to see you guys. Nice to see you guys. How are you really? Good. I'm not talking to the camera. Talking. Good. I'm eager to get, you know, begin the next chapter of our lives. And, and the second act of this play is what they did was corrupt. I committed no crimes. These were political things. You and, I and they lied and cheated. This is where I asked in gratitude to President Trump. He didn't have to do this. He's a Republican president. I was a Democratic governor. And my fellow Democrats haven't exactly been very nice to him. So I'm very grateful to him. and. Uh, I'll have a lot more to say tomorrow about this and, and the broader issues that concern our freedoms as Americans. What are your long-term goals? Do you have any political goals? <laughs> um, when you've been in a place like I've been at for the last eight years, uh, you kind of take one day at a time. You don't think too far ahead because you really don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. So I'll have more to say tomorrow, and uh, it's so nice to see you. And, if you're flying home with us, be sure you put your seatbelts on. Okay, can I squeeze in one more question? What has prison taught you? Has it humbled you? What have you gotten out of this experience? I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about our criminal justice system and how wrong and how unfair it can be, how cruel it can be. I've learned about how it disproportionately discriminates against people of color. Uh, I've learned about how, I've learned about a lot of things and I've, I've certainly learned to appreciate Well, when, you, when you're in a, in a place like that and you're essentially by yourself for a long time, it brings you closer to your God. And so uh, one of the blessings is that I've, I've drawn closer to God and I, and I really believe his, there's divine intervention in all of this and I'll have more to say tomorrow.